So one of the major things that we need for this project is our color match polka dots printable, which you can find on artfeeds.org when you search this printable. Now, if you don't have a printer, don't worry. You can just create a printable like this out of a sheet of paper if you have scissors. As you can see on this, we've got two versions of circles. One of the circles has a solid line around that circle and the other circle right next to it has a dotted line and what this dotted line means is that we cut this circle the dotted circle but not the solid line circle and i'll show you what we do with that so once we get it cut i already went ahead and cut this one that i have here i decided to grab a book that i like this is hope Kind Love Gaga. This um, art feast was featured in this book and I just really liked the cover. Lady Gaga's foundation started this um, book to talk about different nonprofits that are doing good in the world and art feeds was included and I also just love this cover. So you could find a book, a magazine, a painting, a drawing, a print. I could use these posters behind me if I wanted to. Um, and what we do is we lay down whatever we choose and use our color match to lay on top of it. And then what we'll do is try to recreate the color that we see through the circle in our solid circle here. Pretty cool, huh? It helps us explore the colors all around us. So let's get started. Oh my goodness, I loved mixing these colors together. Let's take a look. I use my favorite I Heart Art Supplies from the Art Feeds Art Pack. We've got crowns here and watercolors. They both have really great colors to mix together. So if you look here, you can see that I used these three crayons to blend together on this side to create this purpley pink color that we see through our little polka dot. It's kind of like looking through a window, right? And then we match it over here. So um, I got started with one of the darker colors and then added in and lightened it up because we know that red and white together makes a pinkish color. Um, and then we can add in purple, which is red and blue, and mix those together and make this nice pinkish purple lavender color. And then here with these ones, this seemed kind of like a dark teal or or a dark aqua to me so i took the blues and started with our blue crayons and then blended in with a darker green to create this nice color here to color match what we see through this window and then lastly with the crayons so see you can do this with crayons or with paint any kind of paint but i decided to use watercolors um and over here, this is a very bright and vibrant yellow. So I used three different colors. One bright yellow, one more marigold yellow, and then an orange. And very, very lightly used the orange just to give it a, like a little pack a punch on that color. And then gave these two yellows in here to match what I see through the window. And then of course, 
using our blending our paints is a little bit different where with our crayons we can just keep coloring and blending and adding more crayons it is a little bit different when we're using our paints and mixing them together so on this top one here as i painted you could see i started with an orange color because when you look at this it just looks kind of orange but as i was painting i thought that needs to be a little bit darker so I added in some red to make that a more vibrant and bright orange with a touch of red in it. And then here, this is a very light pink that we're looking at. So that is, what do we think? Just a very watered down red. We just use it very lightly in here and it makes a nice pink. And then in this bottom one, started with some blue and it needed to be a little bit darker much like our color over here that we use with crowns I went ahead and added in some green so we'll take a closer look and it just makes me want to use this color map on anything um I could do a book or a magazine or um, maybe lay down a painting and try my hand at that and you don't have to just use one thing like I did here you could match it to several different things the options are really limitless so I would love to see what you create and how you explore color and how you match the colors in the world around you using your own art supplies so if you would like to share with us at art feeds you can take a picture or a video and use the hashtag art feeds makes and we can't wait to see you mixing and matching those colors in the world around you. I'll see you next time.